I'll let you know when I'm in. Okay, chat, I'm don't at look five. the map. It's spoilers, chat. Don't look at the map. Turn, close your eyes, chat. <laughs> Avert your eyes. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one, play. Here we are. Uh, we have an S League match, best of three, between myself, also known as T Bird, and Tom uh, Bonzo. In this was a mega random, right? West side of the map, we have T Bird playing purple uh, as the Burmese, and in the southeast, Tom Bombadil in yellow as the Berbers. And indeed, this was a mega random generation. <laughs> have sort of a. Uh... <laughs> Tom Bombadil says even no said it, yeah. arena. <laughs> <laughs> It's more of a fortified situation. I don't know. I Quite an interesting up. water line, though. Yeah. You so could is... you could get around through that. I think this is mega random, yes. So we know, I mean, this is one of the crazier things that can happen, I guess, with the full walls really mess with some people's strats. Um, but, you know, you're kind of just to tossing the dice when you get mega yeah. random. So. I mean, truly, age two's mega random is truly random, aside from age four's mega random, where it just changes the map generation around a kind of a set well, pattern. Uh, the technology's not quite there in age four to generate mm -hmm. buildings with the map, you know. It's not quite there. You get we get walls, we get arena, we get to hide out with walls in Age of Empires two, but we we can't gloat over them too much. Quite honestly, I'd like to, if possible, steal this map. This is I like the design of it, of having the water sort of border out onto the other two players. Yeah. Well, this kind of looks like. Uh, what is what would this be like Mediterranean map somewhat mm -hmm. the the walls I think like maybe force the square out more into the water there but um, obviously we're gonna scout that and reveal the need for some docks for some fishing uh, sieves the sieve picks here Tom Bombadil has gone for the Berbers very well known oh for... this was a this was a random sieve was it not it was not. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. This, this, this is manually chosen. Okay. I'll get I'll get to why I'm playing the Burmese in a minute. Uh, very well known for their Castle Age knights. They're way cheaper. Castle Age cavalry. Um, they have the ability to just spam out a ton of knights. Uh, pretty strong early game with faster moving villagers as well. I think they get faster as the game goes on, but it's like plus 5%, so they win vill fights. If you're microing at all, you can pull back vills and chase down enemy vills. Uh, not really as much of an arena sieve, <laughs> though. Yeah. So we'll see if he can get value out of their bonuses. They also have... Uh, I don't know, camels, whatnot, what have you. Over here in the purple, I'm playing the Burmese. And I'll tell you right now, I'll let you know when in-game I realized that I was playing the Burmese. <laughs> I don't think it was yet. One thing I want to mention, in terms of map generation, it really favors purple here. If you were, if, uh, if purple's able to get a dock down and a transport ship, it's wide open with the wall here, in the, into the water. That's true, transporting is definitely something that could happen in this map here. Not that purple can necessarily see it. I don't really know how you would get a scout to even see that aside from just putting a ship over there. Aside from fishing ships, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, I thought I was playing Armenians, so definitely in the process of building lumber camps, I realized this is not this is not the Armenians. <laughs> not sure how that happened. I must. It must have just been a misclick. I guess Armenians. Burmese, wait no, Berbers would be in between that. So I don't know how that would even happen, but we play the hand that we're dealt. Burmese are a elephant? I don't know. I looked at it in the game, and uh, they got elephants, they got archers, they got infantry, you know? It's a, yeah. it's a sieve. It's a sieve that you can play in the game. You don't see it very often. But we'll I see how that goes. Cool icon, I will say that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. The, the peacock there. Chat, do your research. Let us know. For me, sieve bonuses. What are they? Uh, one of them is you can see relics. So, uh, the fact that there are only two relics on this map could be a plus or a minus. 
but they were revealed to me at the beginning of the game. Let's see here. Their unique unit seems to be a horse, the Arambi, Rambe, Rambai? The Arambai, a very low accuracy, extremely high damage, ah, like cav range. dart throwing uh, cavalry unit. They're really cool. You gotta really get a big mass of them and then engage from extremely close range in order to do a lot, do uh, any like meaningful damage with them. Though. We might see some around by later. For now, mm, both players going for a little fishing. They benefit from gaining chemistry. Um, are they okay. a grand pup? Well, all ranged units get plus one damage. Oh, chemistry. true, true. You're right. Yes, you're right. So, but uh, I mean, that's that's a good bonus to know about because I mean it's not like really a like a, like bolt or arrow or anything it's like a weird dart going for a mill on these ibex right now some interesting plays from pink purple what have you three fishing four fishing ships out with three more in the queue, so purple, purple certainly has a uh, boom on the fish. Already, I mean, made the fishing ships very quick in comparison. Yeah. You saw the water, and or you saw the water, and you just decided that's it's just the hey, better way to go. You gotta commit. Good scouting from uh, from Yellow. He's on the full loop here. Very much so. Yes. One thing I will mention: you can't actually get around the base. Um, Tom Bombadil's base from outside the walls. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can't do like a full loop on that if you're if you're not allowed inside of his gate. But it's very interesting. Like this screen, the top right entire side of the map here is like pretty much irrelevant unless you're trying to walk mm -hmm. past in order to get to the enemy. There's nothing here. There's wood here. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just about uh, H2 for yellow as well. Quite a bit faster than purple. Not a big villager difference, so it seems like you were just attached. Slower, probably because of the fishing ships, I would imagine. Yeah, fishing ships will slow you down a little bit. They'll lead to a stronger economy, but um, you got to commit more to the wood early on. Well, we may see a, food. A, a faster fight coming from yellow then. Yeah, let's see. Already two fire galleys in this dock, so he's he wants ah, to take he, the fight yeah, to the water. He, I mean, he does he does see your fishing ship, so he knows you're going <laughs> right <for> there. <laughs> Very close proximity. Let's see. Can you see the hole? No, you can't. Kind of, but didn't ever really go all the way over there to find it. Mm -hmm. Blacksmith for yellow. Mining gold with three four bills and first fire galley is out. Unfortunately no protection for these fishing ships at the moment. Not a huge surprise, but can you bounce back afterwards? Now we're queuing fire galleys behind some fishing ships in that one dock, but they will be coming out for purple. You can't make them for feudal age, right? So the faster feudal ah, for yellow see, really paying off there. Shows you how much I use the water on these kinds of maps. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm always a little suspicious about like some kind of castle drop shenanigans or whatnot. So I'm I'm out here uh, outposting the closer connection mm -hmm. between us. Obviously, I mean not. it's 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 probably smart, honestly. Especially with the extra yet. resources out on the around the side, yeah, you want to ensure that if they're out in, out in their base, then they can be out forever. Yeah, I guess if I, we don't know how uh, how hard he's committing to the fire galley play yet to the mm -hmm. water control, but true, that true. would mean a much um, slower castle timing, right? If he puts all the resources into the fire galleys. Yes, a lot more coming. Six and I'm right loving now. to see how. Tight this idle TC time is with the both of you. Yeah, really close. Al We're almost both perfectly counting matched, up right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you are both counting up, but at least it's equal. Yeah. No, Tom Bombadil's economy is very strong for uh, for this like yeah. for this tournament for this group.
Um, I think I just bought food in order to actually go castle right now. Yeah, looks like so it's it. It's a bit of a fast castle play. I guess with the walls like this, kind of maybe would be expected because, you know, entire economy besides fishing ships are yeah safe, so. I, I would imagine he would be doing the same thing from your perspective as well just because of the you know he's he's quite skilled on arena right yeah he's branched out a lot he just he does a good scout rush these days tom bombadil but i feel like in the past he's been known for a bit more of an arena play bad <laughs> fight for purple here so very surrounded. bad just so uh, surrounded. took it right uh... right to the lower health one which is understandable you just weren't looking at it I'm trying to micro these, but man, I'm not, I'm not the, not the fire ship warrior <laughs> that Tom Bombadil is. <laughs> I'll say that. Still producing more. And now, it could be kind of expected to give up water at a certain point um, when you just when you go age three. Yeah, give up water or build better ships. I would imagine. Like Tom has been spending a lot more res on the galleys. Just be sorry for the dinging, chat. It's a lot of dinging clicking so much on those. Um, and the, the resources on the uh, purple side have been allocated mm. towards aging up only, so. Still making fishing ships, though. Still making some fishing ships, making the fire galleys still, maybe should have added there. There's a third dock, uh, blueprint at least. Resources collected, by the way, look at how close that is. 200 Very, right very close. Yeah. I was watching, um, I think it was Dave AoE's stream. He has, he actually has, uh, damage done. You know how in Age 4 Spectator there's like a damage dealt? Like yeah, a yeah. Value, value number? I don't know how he got that. But we don't, we don't seem to have access. That's probably in the paid features, I would imagine. Oh, I'm paying. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. <laughs> Worker efficiency, Tom Bombadil's up a little bit. We're looking at idle eco, 3.1% for both. Incredible. Yeah. Maybe And that eco KD 09 for uh, Tom. Um, you gotta imagine though, is, you know, from Purple's perspective, seeing all these fire ships, probably gonna want to just either build docks further away that he's not looking at to fight back, or just give up the water. I mean, you don't need yeah. to keep sinking resources into something that's not necessarily gonna kill you immediately. Yeah, so I think at this point I was thinking like, okay, I'm Castle, I will be able to get War Galley upgrade, which also upgrades fire ships to, or fire galleys to fire ships, and then win. Um, I maybe don't know the full extent of the dedication this guy yeah. has to the galley. He's still constantly Quite producing. I mean, we can actually yeah. look at, um, if I click here, all time creating unit 77% of the time for that one, 61%, 81% for this one. Fully uh, committing to those docks. So it's it's possible uh, that War Galley upgrade was a bit of a waste of resources, but it just depends on whether or not we'll be able to come back. It's tad presumptuous. The just, it just depends on how much he wants to sink into it. Tom Bombadil now halfway to Castle Age himself with the market blacksmith there. Let's see, what are you, what are you looking at right now? What are you trying to... What's your next goal to build here? Yeah. With, with like, the, the knowledge that you're a castle and he isn't. I mean, I think right now still the focus is on the water. Mm -hmm. Going back and uh, coaching myself, I would say don't bother, but... Again, we have a little bit more knowledge. Like, I only see three uh, true. fire galleys Very true. Fire now, so I'm going to Obviously, out this is in hindsight. Fire ships. We got seven fire ships here. You think, okay, that's not bad. And this is looking a bit better for purple. Yeah. So maybe it's worth it after all. Tom Amadil hits Castle Agents Wheelbarrow. He has eight. Yeah, I mean, then half of them are already hurt, so this is a decent fight. Unfortunately, these these three in the back aren't really doing much, but... If you drag box select an entire fight, you can see the HP. Um, ah, capture it. Yeah. Just the micro for Tom Bombadil on the water is so good. He's able Very to single good. out these ships and just, like, somehow win these fights. Uh, Chat, do Berbers have fire ship bonuses? At this point, I'm wondering, like, how is he doing this? Is he just insane? 
Look it up. Maybe my co-caster can help me with All that. Right, Both players that now with War Galley. And it's at this point... No, I'm still killing fire ships, purple. Okay. Let's see here. Second TC for Tom Bombadil coming up on the stone in the back there. Their ships uh, move faster, 10%. Is that all ships or just fishing ships and builds? Uh, all ships. Okay, that's definitely helping here. <laughs> um, either way, he's taking very good fights and it's some solid decision making in the micro there. Love to see it. Looks like purple has run out of that gold. There we go. Realizes it. He's gonna move those villages. Demo ship just sneaks down. through. <laughs> <laughs> we go for some demos. Yeah, one thing you can use to swing water balance if you're losing fights and you have mm -hmm. worse numbers is get some try and try and get some big demos. So I'd love to see. Here. I guess he's just trying to build up more economy in the base, but I'd love to see with yellows water control currently going on also hitting you on the land just to keep your attention occupied where aoe4 from cap 623 good to have you here in the chat cap uh aoe4 is still uh still in the oven we are just basically waiting for somebody to ask for a specific match or game which you have just done so maybe we'll switch over to that next but we will finish this match first uh, which this is the first game of at least two, maybe three. We'll see. It's currently looking good for Tom Bombadil. Score lead. And res collected still almost identical, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I to see Tom a little higher for Surprising. Team, right? But. Both very good players, honestly. Very good players. Yellow's micro is on the water is just insane, I have to say that. Yeah, he's doing a great job with that. And now, purple definitely has just given up on the water. Yeah, Which, I mean, it, it looks point, like you're you're selling a lot for just trying to move past the water and get your mind off of it. Yeah, I guess it gives Tom Bombadil free, like free control of twenty five hundred deep water fish, deep food. Mm -hmm. right? um, if he Not only that, but if uh, if but he wants to transport over, we've skipped over a few off, steps. But here that purple has taken TC in the connecting area by this gold and stone monastery and uh, forward castle dropping that on Tom Bombadil's uh, walls so pressure's coming on land now can't take water let's try land also getting loom now after walking all the way across the map love to see it Tom Bombadil right uh, decision oh, here no. dropping a castle so in his loom. own base opposite that Things are moving quick on the land here. He sees the castle, decides to build his own. Smart move. And we have a stable coming up for purple. Probably oh, end up mining some bad gold or something. Who knows? Last stock about to go down there. Well played from Tom. Would love to see a few more fishing ships queued now that it's like fully yeah. secured. It's like his, his thing. But obviously mine not really on the water anymore as we have second layer of stone walls coming down for him here as well. I believe he's, he's more concerned down. with the castle beaming his walls currently. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> also, um, I scouted earlier. There, and looking for the ca for the cav upgrades, looks like. There's like a one gate space um, choke point on the north side, so just walled that off, try to prevent mm, any yes. side attacks. Tomabo will drop in third TC behind his base as well, and also his own walls there on the north side. The gate is down. Technically open to... Anything well, to... actually, no, that's not true. That, he's building... Yeah, he's building fully a second wall. still on the second TC. Yeah. Not that purple knows it. Well, actually, you do know it. You can't see it at the castle. Yeah, I mean, at this point, the stone walls and everything, you can kind of assume, right? 
Okay, he's not gonna let me pass there without a fight. <laughs> we have bloodlines for bloodlines, purple. forging, and scale boarding armor. So obviously wanting to cav push. Au contraire, good sir. Ah, battle elephant. True, true. I forgot that we are. You're playing the Burmese. Also, clicking Elite Skirmisher. Um, why? Yeah, why Skirmisher? I think, I mean, Skirmishers, especially in the latest patch, received a bonus against them, are uh, pretty good against uh, Spearmen. Ah, oh, I see. So if you're going for, like, a, a gold unit and a trash unit, mm -hmm. I guess Skirm and Cav are a great combo. Or Skirm I'd and imagine, your own, your yeah, own I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, Skirm is the trash unit, Archer isn't in this game. Yeah, so, we'll see where that goes. Maybe we're just playing with our options in this as-yet unexplored Burmese civilization. Imperial Age click for T-Bird, stretching those resources to their yeah. limit. Now with we'll come in in enough to buy a second castle, though, if need be. Yeah, we might see another castle just for tread production on the front here as well, next to the first. We shall see. Tomomodo behind this, doing a great job with the villager production. He's actually catching up on that. T-Bird had a little bit of a... Uh, he sees lead. your wall and is like, no, 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 no. Can't let that happen. <laughs> Can't let that happen. Second castle now on that wall. It's almost as though I knew that was going to happen. You actually and cannot see it. Here's a second castle, yeah, for Tom Bombadil, too. Okay. Oh, his, I thought you were referring to his castle, my bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, we don't have vision on that for purple. Slightly chewy in here. Who's Fink, Dim Fink Dimpleton? Anybody got any thoughts on who that I'm might be? I'm not, not sure. <laughs> Good to have you here. Sounds like a 1920s, like, Robert Sinclair sort of situation. Keeping the elephants garrisoned here, there are only two of them, so not a huge, uh, not a huge thing to need to hide that, I guess, but we don't want... It it's, seems really easy to just mass spearmen against elephants, so... Don't want any foreknowledge of that coming through. There's vision of the second castle yes. for T-Bird as I imagine, yeah, Trebs from both coming out now. I'm gonna use that Imperial mm -hmm. Age timing advantage to the maximum. Also getting guilds. I feel like I have used the market quite a lot in this game. You have. You've also you've been done a very good job of spending your resources. You're nearly flat and but you you're getting everything you need. I felt really stretched thin at this point. It's I guess the speed that you're you gotta try to go up at yeah in order yeah. to like use this advantage with the forward castle is like pretty tight. Um, Linus Mentner's best friend, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Trebs are now hitting this castle. Poor Tom, he is gonna click. Did he sell? Yeah, so he used the market himself to get up to Imperial Age. Gonna be a little bit behind there. It feels real rough when the when the enemy sneaks in and, and you just see it. You know, okay, well I'm at least two and a half minutes away from being able to match that, unfortunately. So good on him to do the best uh, he could there. And we have camel archers for the Berbers. They're unique unit. You know? Three trebs will probably be able to take this castle even with how much repair and. Uh... Tom drops another castle right next to his one that just went down. In range of the Trebs. Rough, but you gotta do what you gotta do to delay. And he actually has enough stone to drop another castle behind that. Solid defensive play here. Just trying to delay as long as possible and hope that uh, once he reaches MP Scott, what he needs to push that back. There's plenty of wood in order to uh, make Trebs. Maybe sell some of that with the gold. But second castle is going to go down before Imp comes in. And going with the unique unit on uh, only forward castles against an Imperial Age player is never going to feel great. 
but now... It's like he said, it's enough, enough's enough. Need to take care of these trubs. Fortunately, he doesn't know about the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go learn Order of the Dragon art, Cap. Good luck. I hear they're not great. One elephant sneaking his way in there. And... Now we're gonna see some Arambi production once uh, T-Bird stops being housed for five seconds. <laughs> Rear castle in his own base. Cause these uh, gates were taken out actually. And Palmamula has a bunch of stables on the far side. Could loop around to the north. So I think just thinking about, okay, how can my enemy come back? He can raid me instead. Going for a little bit of defense here. Elephants will do great against the light cav, and skirmishers won't do too badly either as long as there's a front line. Same for the Arambai. They're throwing darts. Look at those, they look like little grenades or something. <laughs> they do, yeah. I actually, I, I saw this game live, and I was, I, I assumed they just had an upgrade where they had like fire arrows. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I guess uh, every projectile becomes fiery once you research chemistry, yeah. right? I think they are purple, technically, or they're like, maybe your color even, I'm not sure. Um, but they get a little extra fire blob on there. And we just have units moving through the base. The TC does go down with the amount of traps are there. And I mentioned the fishing ships. I mentioned wanting to see him add fishing ships, gotta say. He has. He's he done has. a great In job spades. of that. More docks <laughs> being added, going up to seven docks and 25 fishing ships. He's housed right now, unfortunately. But Yellow doing a great job. Once again, surprising me, did have the eco advantage until just now. Yeah. Man, he's so good at just the fundamentals, just adding villagers all the time, getting Ooh. those PCs down. Just now got uh, the second oh, heavy pop right in there. there. Elite battle elephants coming in for the other side. One archer built there for some reason. What's that archer doing? Just hanging out in this beautiful swamp. And just, it's just a slow creep with the trebs. For purple. He sees that he's pretty much re fortifying lost. triple castle in the back. Yeah, again. I was gonna say. He sees Indeed. that he's pretty much lost the initial area and has decided to use the next wall as his base. Yeah, still not uh, impossible recovery. It's only three k. No, score not at difference. all. Not at all. Um, he's practically already built up. Going to need some kind of answer to the trebuchets, though. Be that bombard cannons. I don't know if the Berbers get bombard cannons, but that's a common answer people usually go for. Or uh, more cav, or more, more traps of your own, yeah. Yeah, could just uh, try to snipe him with cavalry too. There's no forward castles for purple here. But we'll see. There were quite a few villager kills in this evacuation. And uh, pink keeps adding more villagers too, so... Difference is climbing a little bit now. Res collected, 10k off. Res collected, yeah, about 10k. Dicey. AD is pretty close though. Yeah, very much so. I love these fishing ships. They're doing so much work here for Yellow. And he's he got these fire ships out here doing what he can with them too. Seventeen a ran by. Probably missing three four fifths of all their shots. Uh, it's going, it's going. So they have uh, 13 attack, pierce attack. Accuracy, I don't know if, what this number means. Base, base accuracy of 20. What's like a skirmisher? I, just, I, get, I, I imagine just like the random chance of them missing, right? Skirmisher base accuracy is 90. So, <laughs> you know, what about this archer guy? These are with some Imperial Age upgrades. 80 accuracy there. I think we have ballistics in for purple, so. I ran by, uh, as you can see, like one fifth of, as accurate as a skirmisher or an archer. But the damage is worth it. You can get the numbers up. Yes. And at this point, it's 137 pop against 200. It's feeling like yeah. a bit of an 
eco difference game Un here. Fortunately, I think he just needs more gold to produce here. And I didn't realize he doesn't this have playing. great access to it. Does he but, even mark uh, Tom Bombado actually is really suffering for houses. <laughs> yes. And also gold. So. There's no gold access. Anywhere. Yeah, there's no gold over here. I guess you can use your market, which he doesn't currently have, looks like. He would have yeah. to build a new one. Just the little things you lose when you got And we're having a base. little bit of a fight up top as well. Oh, and there it is. And there it is. He actually And he even said it himself. The yeah. North. yeah. GG, I have no gold. No gold, but good fight. Good uh good hold there as for as much as Very he much could. so. With, yeah. uh, I think if he had gold, he difference. would have been able to push that back, honestly. There's a good chance. He was making a lot of light cav. Could have maybe still pivot I mean 3.4k 3. wood 2700 <clears throat> food could have maybe pivoted into skirms but there aren't really any elephants left anyways or spears yeah. I guess. yeah so there may have been some options but the economy difference there kind of speaks for itself as well so would have been real hard to come back from at that point resources looking good for purple <laughs> as well i like to see that still the highest unit was fire ships from both <laughs> 26 players. fire ships from 40 <laughs> fire ships yeah oh man Give me the stats. Homs, good to see you here. Yeah, we'll get into the H4 stuff soon. We got one more mm -hmm. game in this set. So that's uh, game one going to T-Bird on the Burmese. Can't play them again in this uh, this match. What a Not travesty. that I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> um, collected difference. Definitely spiked at the end there. And... Huh. It was a good game. It, was a, it, it kind of threw us both for a loop. I think Tom Bombadil had a strat he was planning on doing with the Berbers here. I don't know if I made that clear. I'm pretty sure he was going to go for like a Scout Rush or a Castle Age Night Rush. But obviously the, the, uh, map just, uh, the whole yeah. Mega Random situation kind of screwed him over. <laughs> you get what you get on Mega Random. Yeah. It's always the All risky right. play. Time for the next one. Game two. I guess showing you guys that screen kind of potentially is a spoiler if you if you watch it closely enough you can see how many games per set there are. Don't worry about that chat. Just close your eyes. All right, let me know when you're in. I'll be at 5 seconds. <laughs> Looks like you actually get the sieve you want to. <laughs> okay, I'm at 5. Three, two, one, play. All right. Here we are. Chat, YouTube, and what have you. We've got a uh, banger of a game here. Game two in this match. Tom Bombadil in yellow as the Berbers. T-Bird in pink as a pay-to-win new DLC civ, the Armenians. Purple, Very what have you. Uh, <laughs> and we're on Arabia. Thoughts? Actually, I, I believe this is a mega random as well. Just the way it's laid out looks like Arabia. Nope, it's Arabia. Ah, I see. Uh, just the way the draft works, it has to be a different map from the previous. I see, I see. T Bird coming off of a uh, potentially uh, concerning at times victory in the last game uh, on mega random with that like weird arena generation. Weird uh, fortress generation. It's We're now on. Gonna have the same problems as with the meal carts that I had. Too. Much more open map. Yeah, these meal carts. We'll see how it goes. Not easy to uh, wall with to defend those wood lines with. Arabia. Eh, it's fairly open, but there are more open maps. Atacama, um, Habub, perhaps. Prairie. Is Prairie in this game? Is that H four? This guy paid to win, poor Tom. Oh, thanks, Homs. I'm glad to the be able to bring them honestly, to you. From Homs. Yeah, honestly, yeah. That guy, he's got his, <laughs> his own profile on Liquipedia and everything. Now, is it normal to get Loom this early? Uh, no, that's actually quite unusual at a 9-vil Loom. I'm 
wondering... Maybe just worried about the scout rush and doesn't want to worry about it. He had the food, so I guess he just wants to get in and get it out of the way. Maybe it'll help with the elephants, which... Let me see. Let me click on an elephant. You might want to do the research again. You're, you're okay. putting on all the work this stream. But um, oh, no. I think elephants do a little more damage than boars. So that's seven melee attack. Let's see. A little more. They have more food too. Four hundred food on that. Gaia elephants. <laughs> no, not the film. Oh my. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. Bring in the second elephant here as well immediately for Tom. While there's still 100 food on that one, he's just uh, really getting everything done while he can. Could be worried about early aggression, honestly. Armenians, if you look at the tech tree, it says infantry civ, so. Beastie Beauty finally has got his Wikipedia page. Hey, I love to see it. I saw you talking about that in the uh, Wikipedia Discord. I'm, I'm, glad he, I'm glad he got that. He got in there, past their qualifications. Unfortunately, I can't find any information, at least on the wiki, about it. Okay. Well, chat, you'll have to let us know. If you care to look it up. To do more research. We got a game to cast. Either way, nobody losing bills to elephants in this game. We're all professionals here. Tom Bombadil moving across the map. T-Bird moving... This, this is a mirror game. We are the same player right now. Idle TC... Close. Scouting. Identical. On the camp there. Um, Armenians. Okay. We're here in the Dark Age. We can we can get into the civs a little bit. Infantry and monk civ, according to their official tooltip. Uh, they're uh, new in the uh, latest DLC, oh, as no. we mentioned. You were right. They Found it? Do have, yeah, three more melee on elephants than the standard wild boar. Okay. And same thing. Th oh, okay, how much? Is there food difference? I think it's 300 food for a boar, 400 for an elephant. 300 uh, on elephant and 300 on boar. Okay, alright. Fair enough. Can't get everything right. Uh. Armenians. Bonuses include the meal card, which you have to build. You don't start with like the Georgians, but you also get standard amount of food when you start, so it's a little bit less awkward. Um, they also, uh, when you research a upgrade in the meal card, which includes double bid axe, you know, all the lumber camp upgrades and all the mining camp upgrades, they count uh, as more of a bonus. It's like, I think it's like. Mm, I don't want to go crazy here. I was about to say like double. I think it might be double the effect for the uh, eco ecotech upgrades, um, which is really good for getting an efficient economy going. They can also build a fortified church, which uh, you can garrison villagers in. Not different though. Cards in. It's a little bit different from the Georgians. Um, in that. Especially with the warrior monk. It doesn't um, provide the area of effect eco bonus that the Georgians do. Instead, you are allowed to build warrior monks out of it, which are a unique infantry unit that is basically a monk but can't convert and can fight instead. Ultimately, their upgrades bring them to maybe a little worse than a champion in the Imperial Age. So, which very. Saying quite a bit, honestly, uh, especially the sense they can heal. Yeah, very solid. They can heal quickly. And I think they heal relics. themselves. They gather relics. They do, so yeah. you're going to see Armenian players get relics a lot more easily. And um, uh, they're just a bit easier to get to than champions, probably, as far as cost goes. Also, the Armenians, if that wasn't enough, uh, can research their militia line uh, infantry upgrades. So two handed swordsman, possibly uh, champion what have you, an age earlier. So in the feudal age here, we could see two-handed swordsman. I think. I might, yes. I might have no, those you're, off. No you're, you're, no, you're correct about that. Uh, okay. Which, at this point in the, in the like, Civs release to the public, can come as 
very surprising, right? You, you're in field yeah, age, you're at, you're at 15 sure. minutes or whatever, and then you suddenly have like infantry that are an age advanced that you can't, you just can't kill in your base. So, some very powerful options. As far as an infantry sieve goes, they also have a unique unit of their castle called the Composite Bowman, which is a, an archer that fires like a straight bolt. A little different to like say the longbow and um, ignores armor on any targets. Kind of an interesting mix of options for the Armenians. Definitely but so, yeah. Backed up by a very strong eco with those uh, resource gathering upgrades. Tom going for some walls in the back of his base. A few houses. Yeah, I want to make vision. sure that he's not raided in any way. Yeah, he's because he knows you. He knows you're in age two before him, so he's can, probably concerned about it. That is true. Yeah. I'm actually really interested to see Tom's perspective in this game. Tom Bombadil here. He's playing the Berbers. We've talked a lot about the Armenians, but the Berbers, a little bit more well-known. Um, they've been around for a long time. Uh, cavalry Civ, cheaper Knights. I don't think they, they're uh, scout cavalry, they're light cavalry cheaper, I'm not sure. But definitely the chance to mass a like, huge amount of knights in the early castle. And their villagers move more quickly. I think it's 5% in Dark Age, 10% in Feudal Age, and so on. So more efficient economy in that way. Be able to walk around more uh, with your bills if you have to. And not suffer quite as much of a... Uh, Efficiency decline. So far, this game, idle TC time a little higher for Tom Bombadil. Yeah. Looks like the eco in general is not significantly better, but is is a little bit uh, favored T Bird right now. As we both are just diving into the market. Looks like I'm actually just balancing out the economy. Had too much wood there. Going straight for that castleage. No pressure across the map at all. Tom as well actually clicked it first, and he's gonna be there. Uh, yeah, yeah. In under two minutes now. Little At this level, I'm not sure if it will matter the timing, but yeah, we'll see. It's interesting we'll see. We'll to see. see no units <laughs> besides the scouts out for either player. Yeah, yet, I will say you've done a pretty good job of figuring out what's going on at his base, and he. Let me see. I mean, Jeez. I was definitely expecting a scout rush from him up definitely. until I, mean, I saw, I mean, I'm, I'm, my scout is going to see the blacksmith in the mill, the marker right now. Okay. Now we know. Okay. Castle age is coming in. Okay. So he's got a pretty good vision of your base as well. Yeah. Well scouted from, uh, from both here. Hasn't spotted the market or the blacksmith. Uh, yellow hasn't yet though. So he might not have quite as much of an idea of what's coming. But he's well defended at home, getting a bit of an egg going here. These buildings. The mill wall coming through Scale. clutch. Scale mill coming down for purple, so I'm assuming you're probably going for the man at arm route. And we have two stables dropped for yellow. Hits castle, he's going for scale barding armor, bloodlines. I think we know what's coming. It's gonna be those knights. Yeah. We'll see if purple can address and, that. And I mean, unfortunately, He's going into a sieve that does very well with its infantry. Yeah. And we have pikemen for purple now. Second mm -hmm. TC. And that back wood line is fully walled for the time being as well, so. Planet safe. Front wood line also fully walled for the moment. For purple drop in a fortified church on that hill. Nice spot. Not really protecting any res, but hey, what are you going to do? Maybe, uh, maybe he's just thinking about production out of it. Third TC now for our Armenian Ooh. player. Really just going for the eco approach. This means that I won't really have the resources to make a lot of units. Like yes. Or what have you. So any damage Tom Bombadil does might be easier to achieve. That said, the TCs will protect any villagers underneath them. So pretty much the exposed areas are going to be the wood lines if he can get through the walls. Also, this pikeman is stuck in the wood line. Third TC it. coming down for purple, just going for that early boom, looks like. Scout Raid hasn't hit, so you're able to do so. Yeah, scouts, or I guess in this case, knights. Or five knights. knights. Yeah. And I think I actually see that the knights auto attack 
the purple scout. Yeah. So there's a the heads up there. on what's coming. And what do we do about it? Make more bills, baby. We actually get sanctity, which increases the uh, health on uh, monks. Warrior priests are also affected by all upgrades for monks, besides obviously the ones that affect their conversion abilities. So, Warrior Priest is about to get a boost in the HP 80 right now. He's gonna run into uh, five knights. Oh, which there's a hole right there. Unfortunately, can't find a hole. There's not. Oh, one. they can't. Oh no, you're right. There's almost one if this tree almost. gets chopped through. But now he's at 95, so that's an extra 15 HP on the one Warrior Priest. The Armenians also, by the way, another economy upgrade. Get a free relic in the first fortified church. Oh, that they true. Build, yeah. So. Kind of a stacked sieve in a lot of ways, but it just kind of depends on what At least economy options wise. they're able to bring to bear. Feels a little bit awkward to play at times with the unit choices. But Tombamadol is just going to go for that house for now. Back at home, still on one you know, PC. Kills to... Sending a lot of those to gold. Now he's going to move those to farms. Second and third barracks placed down by purple. And just about enough pikemen here Doing to see off. Doing a great off. job of microing these knights. Get nice keeping them away from the pikemen. No hits, yeah. yeah. But they are getting pushed back, at least. They are. But if uh, Purple's not careful, he'll he's do what he wants to do anyways. Now. Tom Bombadil can see the entire base here, too. So he's got great scouting. Mm -hmm. And here's a fortified church drop. Purple doesn't know the knights are there, but he will soon. Little men at arms upgrade. <laughs> and those are going to be some of our first. Uh, this is our first mm. two uh, eco kills of the game there. Two bills right there. Eco count, by the way. Idle TC time for T Bird with three town centers. Ooh, it's kind of expected it will grow. Because yeah. you have three, right? So, yeah, uh, true, you, you true. Know, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. A lot. But still a lot. And it's enough that Tom Bombadil, with four minutes and 16 seconds at the minute, it's kind of able to keep up on one TC. Really impressive stuff from him. Farm count is actually higher for Tom Bombadil at the minute. Mm. I think that's because I'm pulling... I'm just looking at the worker count. Double yeah, yeah. farms, it'll be 25 for purple, but... Um, I've been making farms and then pulling bills off. Farms. Another town center Fourth over TC. here. Fourth TC. <laughs> I've really been enjoying recently some more... Uh, I don't know. I guess... I guess like sloppy games where you just win oh, by economy. Oh, good house wall. That was close. This house. That was is... very, very close. Okay, he's he's fortunately attacked the uh, the house that was being built. If he attacked the one on the south, that probably would have gone down. But there is uh, a little is something here we like to know, we like to call a hole. <laughs> a little overchop situation. A little bit of an overchop. Yellow gonna take advantage of that. Get some more economy kills. Probably. Yeah, there's one. Forces Pink to delete a house. Try to run with those villagers, but it's gonna be a little bit... A little rough, yeah. that's for sure. More knights, Especially huge these, amount of knights. these being knights, you can't necessarily just TC them down like scouts. Exactly, they have enough HP and armor to tank some town center fire. Purple has massed some units and is moving across the map. Five warrior priests, four uh, spearmen. But there are also 12 more knights coming in from Tom Bombadil. Like I said, the Berbers, with their cheaper knights, kind of insane. Tom Bombadil also is going to try to drop a castle right in the middle of the base there. Let's see if he's able to do it. My army has found them. It's found they the bills. But if they can the get knights. this down, though, if he can get this down, this will be big. That will be real big. Villager count is starting to uh, snowball a little bit with four TCs finally able to keep at least a couple of them producing. But he's going for the walls. I love ah, this walling of the bills. Walls. Great house walls. He's blocking all of this army. And really, really good job with that. Kill that all with the knights. So looking really good from Tom Bombadil. And it's going to take a lot of work if Purple wants to keep this game competitive. Oh. Actually, I just bought 400 stone. Just sank all my gold into that. Yeah. I tried to drop one of my own under the TC. It's not going to stop Tom Bombadil over there to stop from that. pushing that. Yeah. See if he can deny it. I don't think he knows about the fourth TC yet. 
No, he does not. And that castle definitely goes up to yellow. Fortified Church is doing some work here though. It's, I think it might be headshot of the... Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, who will get the castle have first four here? Over here on nine. Ah, oh, purple will get it first. Flying. Purple actually gets it there. Both castles go up though. And Tom just with this full on knight optimized pressure economy. One TC still. Still more. Oh, but food purple doesn't have holdings. Pressure. And there's no. It's um, murder holes. Or murder holes, sorry. Usually you like kind of don't want to get because it means you're you're already you've already kind of you're in trouble, right? There's yeah, army yeah. underneath your castle hitting it. But gonna try to go for university here in the back. Tom pick, takes the perfect opportunity, uh, perfect timing to look back there. Don't wanna deny it. He knows what's he knows what that's for. <laughs> the TC here is shooting the knights down slowly. Having that there is helping. Quite a bit of villager kills, almost making the four TCs equal again. Yeah, 46-42. A lot of those, I guess five of those went down, uh, building this castle. I'm gonna lose some knights, just losing knights to TC fire at the minute, and a second university being built on the other side from purple. Just keeping that town center producing is yellow. Playing very open right now. He knows the pressure's all on the other side of the map. He knows this is an mm -hmm. infantry sieve. Doesn't this even need to worry about it. If he uh, loses the fight over here, he loses his base. He knows that. This is where everything's happening. Mining that forward stone. Love to see it. Castle on stone mine means another free castle, basically. So, Actually, this uh, your composite bowman would be the perfect unit in this, into this sort of... Yeah, Composite Bowman, interesting unit, probably would do well into uh, into Knights. I guess we'll have to see how they do in, in like any future engagements. Looks like all... Uh, yeah, there's four Knights left on the map. They're back at Tom's base, so that uh, that mass has been cleared up by basically TC fire. Tom, I'm actually producing petards. He's petarding down this castle right now. <laughs> You don't see petards very often, but I always love to see them. I think they're a really cool unit that uh, only this HG is gets. a rare situation. Castles are basically kissing, right? Petards are actually viable here, especially with how awkward the angle is. I'm not gonna be able to right-click a petard. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, that's walking between these castles here. So, I think the deal that you gotta do here is mass up to like, I don't know. 10 petards in your castle and then drop them all at once. Mm, I see, because the castle fire will just take out the first and it doesn't really like this. Yeah, and also, like, oh. I've noticed, so I'm just repairing the castle constantly as well uh -huh. as the trickle comes in. Looks like one warrior monk gonna clean up these uh, forward vills. And there are actually four relics in this fortified church for T Bird here. He's collected quite a few of them from across the map. As this has been going on, still producing warrior priests. I guess they're not warrior monks. They're mm -hmm. warrior priests. And the four TCs is showing its uh, its pressure. I mean, you're you're back up vill count wise. Back up on the vill count. The score at this point in game, at the time I was I was going like, how how do I have this <laughs> score lead? This is this doesn't make any must sense. Must be military. To me. Must be military currently living. I uh, I guess that that could be it. Got 11 pikemen. I guess halb no, it's, it is halberdier. Okay. So you get chat. You don't usually get halberdier in castle age. Armenians could upgrade the uh, the pikemen line, the spearmen line, all the way uh, in age earlier too. I just realized. Just going for a ram against this castle because there's no army to accompany it, and Tamamba also doesn't have murder holes. So it looks like. I say there's no army. There are petards. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost got one of them. He's gonna maybe take out one ramp. Let's see. 87 out of 175 is... Actually, it's your only enough. queued uh, ram currently. I wanna see it. How much damage does it do? Oh! Oh, they do like exactly half to an unupgraded Yeah, ram. two per tarts per ram. T-Bird pushing forward with the, this like immobile like infantry army. That's what you gotta do. Just take the fight right in the middle. 
Warrior priests. 11 plus 1 attack. Armor, not great on them, though. They do look cool. They do look really Yeah, let's get a good zoom on that guy. Let me get a follow. You press F to follow a unit. You have ah, that's what I was, I was trying to figure that out earlier. Yeah. Look at these dudes. He's, a, he's, a, he's looking a little bit stacked, actually, underneath those robes. Yeah, oh, I, I guess yeah. you need a, He isn't we, working for me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure then. This composite bowman, too. Castle here looks like uh, we're gonna just trickle more rams in until it goes yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Gonna make the tard so quickly. This one warrior priest, he, he's hoping he gets the final kill. He can tell his grand. He's making two later. for tards, he, and it's exactly enough. <laughs> it is exactly enough. Slightly chewy. Hey, don't call my strat sloppy. Who? Has somebody been calling him? Is he like in a delay or something? I'm not entirely sure. What is he talking about? What strat? Looks like there's gonna be a just passing moment from Purple. Three Knights gonna get some value here. Must be looking back at home, trying to get that castle knocked down. Okay, this army just walks under the TC. It really quite something. Quite the micro here from our Purple yeah, player. Who yeah. wonder who this could be? Uh, <laughs> oh, we're dropping a castle now forward on this forward TC here. That is a presumptuous castle, I'd say, in a way. You don't know the army that he has back there. Not that he has it, but you don't know. I guess that just comes down to reading the state of the game. Yeah, I, I suppose um, so. There are four knights. I guess I was just confident with this mass that we could at least get the castle. Get it down quick enough, else. yeah. And... More TC, more better. Oh yeah, I gotta agree. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about the eco play. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't deny that this, uh, this game from Purple was not the cleanest, at least. But well, I mean, those done. those eco so... up, eco advantages are really coming in clutch. By the way. Seventy-five, sixty-five, sixty-six. Tom dropping two castles at home. And we might have a repeat of the last game as far as Imperial timing into Trebs yeah, goes. Yeah. T-Bird looks like it's uh, he's saving for that. Yeah, you're saving up there, it looks like. Tom Bombadil maybe as well, but does not have the gold. I think he had... Did he buy stone for these? He bought 900 stone in order to get these castles up. That surprised me in my voice crack. Going for some... Uh, walls on the north too to just protect that wood line and keep any raids from coming in but it's hard to i guess you got to get the siege out now with uh really abusing the market here with just infantry archers composite bowmen there's not really any opportunity to raid if you're uh mm -hmm. in this position right? yeah yeah for Knights still roaming across the map for yellow, looking for damage. Maybe looking to pick off reinforcements. Love to see the action there. Wick Garrison from purple. You'll be able to see that off for the time being, but those knights are still out there. There's not really any walls on this side of the map. And one ram, I think, has just been a select all idle military right click. Uh, brought that ram forward. Imperial Age coming in for the Armenian player. Blacksmith upgrades. Do a little blacksmith upgrade check. Looking fairly balanced between the two players here. Pretty much the same amount of upgrades. And it looks like we got... we Oh, so Purple didn't know about this castle until just now. Yeah, Gonna have yeah. to fall back. Tom just, uh, Tom's quite good at, you know, pulling back, I will say. Yeah. It's just that imp uh, into Treb's timing, I guess I've learned from, yeah. the, uh, from the evil online community. <laughs> you know, you've seen your fair share of it, that's for sure. I've, I've, I've been on the receiving end. I was yes. on the receiving end just last night, in fact. Now these camel archers, I'm a tad <laughs> curious about them. Camel archers. I mean, I guess uh, we don't get too much info here in Capture Age. They have cavalry resistance. Uh, minus yeah, three, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm more mean confused as in he hasn't seen calves from you. True. That's a good point. There's 
basically no chance that I make any kind of cavalry here. So these being like counter knight units or counter yeah. horse units won't really come into play. Perhaps There's he still just wants a... the speed to defend, I guess? There's I'm still like sure. a strong unit, right? There's still a mounted yes. archer. So actually pretty good into infantry um, just because of the micro situations you find yourself in. The composite, uh, composite, composite? The composite bowman, though, uh, might be enough. I think that's why we're queuing more of those. Oh, no, not, we're not actually. Imperial for T Bird buys some wood because the eco is certainly very balanced here on the. Oh, uh, these side. Armenian voice lines are very long. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Twice the. Twice the normal <laughs> length, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. On the other side with the Berbers, Nekwarma. Nekwarma? E. E. They just say E. Sometimes, Did... yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yes, Another castle up here. This is kind of a less than ideal castle, I guess, but yeah. you just gotta get it down somewhere, and it is kind of covering a stone and a gold, and it's on a hill. It's really the line. only place you could get it up here, though, because of the hills. Just really wanted to place another one in order to get more treps out. And we're. Uh, producing trebs in this castle, and they're starting garrisoned in there, so that we won't uh, we won't do any trickle trebbing right now. Time is on purple side, I guess. Tom Bombadil going for a very risky TC. I think he is he really know, in need of gold. That, uh... He does not have access to gold anywhere right now. Something I didn't think about during the game, but definitely should have. Just denying resources I as mean, the game goes he later. Has, he has gold. Uh, quite a large pack of it in the back. Am I blind? He has uh, 241 gold left there. No, I'm, I more mean to mine he has. Wait, where? Uh, 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 westmost side, south, southern part of the base. Is it behind a castle or something? There's one, there's one tile here. Yellow, right? Yeah. He's got, like, maybe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. Oh, maybe this is. Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I have I have shared vision on, so you haven't seen the gold. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I guess there's like um the shared fog of war, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't use it often because I'm lazy and just like to press tab. But I I was thinking about down. it. I was like, it's definitely here. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's really the the condition. Not that purple realizes it in game. That's yeah. really the condition Tom is is, is is needing to come back at all. His access to gold, and he doesn't have it right now. Mm -hmm. Second castle goes down for yellow, and it's looking dicey for him. Was able to keep the economy fairly comparable there uh, up until that's the end, but says. calls the GG. Quite, and, you know, uh, I gotta say, quite a small army on both sides to end this game. Yeah, I, it's all for about how much the fighting there I was. Guess, right? I, not only that, but I more mean to say, both players used their units extremely effectively. Hmm. They only need you only needed twenty nine units to end this game. He only needed twenty seven units to put you under pressure. He almost ended it. <laughs> he almost did. Yeah, that was that was some. Uh, that was some strong pressure there. Just very good, very good uh, micro and like using their damage effectively. Yeah, I think something else that it comes down to is the better you get at an RTS like age, the more mm -hmm. you can cut corners and do like the minimum exactly, amount yeah. possible to achieve mm -hmm. your goal. So if your goal is pressure with trebuchets or what have you, pressure with five knights and killing villagers yeah. as, as quickly as you can, you'll make less if you know you can get value out of it still so certainly certainly and it's, it's times. very it's very clear like the in the games that i play and it, it it comes down to a lot of times just like throwing a bunch of stuff at a wall and hoping it works mm. in a way yeah <laughs> and like oftentimes i've noticed this with myself is i'll lose a lot of resources on something that i will gain by the end of it but could have done with way less resources and had those flexible resources for other things. Yeah. I mean, some of that is scouting and knowledge of what your opponent is doing. Some of that is mm -hmm. just um, 
being a more a little bit more immersed in the how the game is played and kind yeah. of being able to make strong guesstimates on what's happening when um just kind of feeling the pulse of the uh the situation but nevertheless both really good playing for both players yeah tom uh, tom bombado he's he keeps getting better week after week <laughs> maybe uh maybe our four three match could be could be a little different here i don't know <laughs> but um yeah See economy difference collected about 10k more for Tevered by the end. It kind of snowballed there with a silly amount of TCs. Mm -hmm. A risk that you take, you know, placing three TCs into Berbers, but it worked out in this in this uh, situation. So, uh, 